A Cessna aircraft has a liftoff speed of 120 kilometers per hour. What minimum constant acceleration does the aircraft require if it is to be airborne after a takeoff run of 270 meters? It wants to know the acceleration, what minimum constant acceleration. So what we know is the, um, the liftoff speed. So we know the final velocity is uh, 120 VF is 120 kilometers per hour and we can take that 120 K over one hour times it by um, uh, one hour over 3600 seconds and times that by 1000 meters over one kilometer our kilometers will cancel out and our hours will cancel out and we'll be left with meters per second. And so that answer is 33.33 meters per second is our final velocity. So uh, the final velocity equals 33, point, 33 and a third meters per second. And then it, it goes on to ask, what is the what minimum constant acceleration does the aircraft require if it is to be airborne after a takeoff run of 270 meters? So we have time, and we have velocity, and we know that our final velocity is 33. Our initial velocity is zero, so VF or VI is zero. We know that our our uh, change in um, our, our change in time we don't know it's unknown but we do know that it needs to uh, accelerate constantly up to this place and then it will create an area under a curve and this area will be equal to 270 meters so the height of this triangle is 33 so base times height, so we, we don't know the base, but, so we'll just put t times 33 over 2 equals 270 meters. And then we can solve. So I multiply by 2, I get 540t times 33 equals 540. I divide by 33, I get 540 divided by 33 equals 6, the time is 16. 0.25 seconds 16.25 seconds and so my change in time 16.25 acceleration is change in velocity divided by change in time so I take my change in velocity from 0 to 33 is 33.3 .3. I divide it by my change in time which is 16.25 and I get an answer of 2.06 meters per second squared so the first part of that asks you the velocity. The velocity is it, it requires a minimum or um, sorry acceleration. It, it requires a minimum acceleration of 2.06 meters per second squared. The second part asks how long does it take the aircraft to become airborne? Well, we had already solved that whenever we were finding our change in in time. So it's 16.25 seconds.